There is no cure for Ebola. Dude, this is the beginning of a goddamn horror movie. Because the people that have it don't have credit cards. Like, why would you <sighs> create a vaccine or a, or a drug where people are like, we can pay you in goats. <laughs> <laughs> we can. <laughs> it's true. Here is this, an Adobe hut. <laughs> Could you imagine if we found out, and I'm sure someone will suggest, this black helicopters, <laughs> but someone will suggest that the reason why this Ebola outbreak has happened was because someone poisoned a bunch of people with Ebola. It's been shown. Right. They injected Ebola into the drinking water of this tribe <laughs> so that they could spread it. The aid workers would bring it back home with them. And then next thing you know, this pharmaceutical drug company is making trillions of dollars. Yeah. Right? Someone's going to suggest that. But it could just be Ebola, motherfucker, all right? Yeah. <laughs> it could be. It could just be nature. <laughs> people escaped. They weren't supposed to. They quarantined people. People got out. It spread. Lots of people died. They could just be that, too. And it's most likely just that. But it's scary. It's scary as fuck. It just shows you how easy it is for that shit to actually spread. Like, everything doesn't have to be a conspiracy to be totally terrifying. Mm -hmm. Just a disease like this is fucking totally terrifying. It doesn't have to be manufactured by the government. Like, everybody has this idea when one of these things happens. Like, it's one of the first things that you start reading about. It's like these government instituted programs where they designed viruses that could not be yeah. fought off. And they Six did this men in a dark, it. smoky room. Lower Decided. the world population. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want to lower the world population to 500,000 worldwide. How do you think they're going to do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're like, I don't know, but why? To pocket billions of dollars. They will own everything. Yeah. 500,000 hookers and them. <laughs> <laughs> a nation. I would announce a lot of this now. It's not that I even want the scoop. It's that if... I give this info out now, disinfo operatives, even from the White House on record, will come out with spin ahead of what we're about to put out trying to stop us, trying to save this country and secure our borders and secure our republic. So we're going to launch major truth bombshells that we've got dozens and dozens and dozens of illegals crossing at the southern border from Ebola countries. Boom. Five minutes later, it pops up. What's the saying? Great minds think alike? I'm not saying I have some great mind, but boy, I tell you, compared to the average person, I guess I do. That's quite a scary thing to come to grips with when you realize when it comes to street savvy and news savvy and basic understanding that you know more than almost anybody. And you know, in your field, it, it, it's a creepy feeling, and you want to teach others, and you want to see others excel past you and become greater than you are. It's like that line in Full Metal Jacket, which is based on real training in the 1960s, the Marine Corps, where it said, you know, in the final days of boot camp, our instructors were very happy to see that we were, you know, our youthful energy basically raging past them and even surpassing them. Because, of course, they're 35, 40 years old. They're not as young and vicious anymore. And so now the instructors are in awe of what they've created. We'll be right back. That's what I'm looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, it is unprecedented for any major Western government to openly take someone with something as deadly as Ebola into their country. Germany has now done it with Ebola patients. So is the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a psyop to create terror and to fearmonger and to bring in a greater medical tyranny, bottom line. But the issue is, even old bioweapons labs that were off the U.S. coast, like uh, Plum Island, infected the United States with weaponized tick-borne uh, syphilis.